It's cold. Hello, and welcome back. How are you guys doing? Anyway, anyway, today we are going to be talking about fursuit supplies. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, fursuit supplies that every fursuit maker loves dealing with. We have on our top of the list fake fur. Mm -hmm. Now, me as a fursuit maker, I use a luxury shag. This is luxury shag. You can see that it's well, you can't see, but it is very soft. So soft, like a baby's bottom. That that sounds really weird. Just don't forget I said anything. But yes, it's soft. I love it. I used it for Lily. She is sold, by the way. She is gone out of my hair. Someone bought her. But I do have another order that I'm doing, another commission that I'm doing. It is a cat chihuahua mix. It's just the head and I will show you when it's done, but that's exciting. Okay, next on our list is a balaclava. This is a kind of a must need because it goes into the head of the suit so you can wear it like comfortably. I make my own balaclavas, but there are like places you can buy it like fursuitsupplies.com. I will leave a link in the description below for their site because that's where I get all my supplies at and their their shipping is beautiful so fast I at first I started buying stuff off of Etsy don't do that you won't get it to like maybe three weeks especially right now with this pandemic going on alrighty next number three minky fabric oh yeah this is minky this is bubble minky so it's also soft, but it's it's a good oh it's cold. It's a good fabric to use for like I guess I'm gonna say smaller details or like really short for if you really want some short fur. Um I know people use them for the paws. My fur my fursuit paws have red minky for the pop hats. Next on the list is Oh yes, LED lights. People love putting those like in the mouth and the eyes, just so that sometimes the ears too, you know, just so they light up. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. One first suitor that I watch, his name is Serge. He's on TikTok. That's how I found him, and he lights up. So, he lights up, and I love it. One of the first fursuit, first suitors that I've actually ever watched. And now I've just started getting into Pokari and Odin. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, oh, oh god, see, I, don't, I can't even think of the name right off the top of my head the strawberry one I don't know I'm sorry I've been in this fandom for almost a almost a year and a half <sighs> Madeira Madeira strawberry is that the name I think that's the name but I don't I don't know who they are I don't even know what they look like I'm sorry I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that but I'm sorry just starting to watch fursuit um, YouTubers. <laughs> Don't come at me. I, I, I see you coming at me in those comments. Don't. 
Okay, what else do we got? Oh, yes, the elastics. About, like, this big. You put them on the tails. So that you can make belt loops. At least I do. So they're, like, stretchy so you can put, like, any kind of belt in it. Next, we have... Felt. I know felt's not so luxurious, but it makes a great nose. I like using felt for the nose. And around the eyeball. Yes. Felt. Well, we have fleece also. Um... Fleece is also a fabric that people use for the paw pads. And lining of the mouth sometimes. And the tongue. Ugh. Zippers. Gotta get in your suit somehow. The zipper. Usually put down the front and then hidden really well with the fur. That's. Yeah. Ah, uh, next. These are a must need. A buckram mesh. Buckram, buckram, however you pronounce it, they are the the eyes that you the the part the fabric that you see out of the eyes. You can paint or color over them. I I use Prismacolor markers to color lemon. And then the number one top thing that you absolutely need. Well, you don't absolutely. I guess there's. That one thing they absolutely need is the fur, and I got ugh. I got purple fur in my mouth. The one thing you absolutely need is the fur, but foam. And I know people people use what resin and three D three D maker three D printer three D printers. <clears throat> foam is a great and it's cheap and it's breathable. And it's, it's, uh, it's not as easy to wash because you can get that musty smell if you don't properly wash and dry it. Foam is great. I use foam personally. And I know there's a lot more that you need and that you can use. But those are some of the things that I think that are best used for fursuit making. The, those materials are amazing i love it so yeah that's the video and i'm cold it's cold and i don't like it i don't like the cold anyway guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok um, I do have one more spot open for commissions because I, I will, I do two at a time. I will be doing two at a time. Only the heads though, guys. And it's toony. I only, I can only do toony right now. But my Etsy is going to be in the link below. Let's check that out, please. But yep. Remember, guys, always be your best self and have a great day. Bye.